thyroid hormones. As noted by Andreas Schuld, founder of Parents of Fluoride Poisoned Children, thyroid hormones are extremely important in the regulation of metabolic processes and brain development. Every cell in the body depends on thyroid hormones for regulation of their metabolism. Many of the symptoms documented in the vast literature on the subject of chronic or low-grade fluoride poisoning can be directly related to thyroid functions and disorders. One of the most prominent features of preskeletal fluorosis is the extraordinary general fatigue experienced by most sufferers, a marked weakness usually linked to low activity of the thyroid gland. It is only in the last two decades during which endocrinology has progressed so rapidly that now over 150 symptoms and associations can be identified in hypothyroidism. Almost all correlate with known symptoms of fluoride poisoning. Most of the double-blind test results which led to the ban of fluoridation in Holland are now recognized symptoms of hypothyroidism. In 1940, authors Robert H. Wilson and Floyd de Eds from the United States Department of Agriculture, discussing the role of fluorine in pesticide sprays, wrote, Should a spray residue tolerance limit for fluorine be set to protect the normal, the hyperthyroid, or the hypothyroid individual? Should the tolerance limit take into consideration that in certain areas the public is already exposed to a fluorine intake in the drinking water?